Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tolani and I am Diary of a Kitchen Lover. In this video, I made plain okra. Well, I won't call it plain okra because it is too rich to be called the plain okra. But anyways, you know what I mean now. <laughs> So if you want to see how I made this, watch till the very end. It's an interesting watch. And if you're new on this channel, do not forget to hit the subscribe button. The ingredients for this recipe are okra. Be sure to buy the ripe one from the market so you don't get disappointed when chopping or blending the okra. You would also be needing some smoked mackerel fish. If you don't have this, you can use any type of smoked fish within your reach. You would also be needing some giant prawns. You can use the normal crayfish if you don't have and Maggie star. Then I also blended some crayfish for this recipe, which is really, really important for this recipe. Then you would also be needing some scotch bonnet, some chopped scotch bonnet. You can use the powdered one if you don't have this. Then this particular ingredient to take the okra to the highest of the highest level. It's called locust beans, but the Yorubas call it iru. You will be needing it for this recipe. Then of course, water to cook the okra. So let's get straight into business now. Just like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be chopping some of the okra, then blending some using my food processor. It is always very important to check these okras before you buy it from the market because half of the ones I bought were not ripe. And for you to know if it is ripe or not, you can just tip, um, you can just cut off the tip of the okra. If it is cut seamlessly, then it is ripe. But if it struggles to do that, then it is not ripe. You can also have the market people help you check that using their knife to cut the tip of the okra then i'm just chopping these after chopping this i'm just going to set this aside in my house we always like um, part of the okra extra crunchy that's why you will see the really really big chunks in my okra soup then um for the okra to draw excessively you would need to blend some but because i couldn't reach out to my blender immediately i had to use my chopper the chopper also did the same work so i'm just setting this aside this is the first part of the chopped okra then the other part of the okra is going to be blended using my food processor i have this really really small cute chopper in the house that i use for my quick meals and this is what i'm going to be using to um, chop the okra i added some water because i wanted it to be more um, liquidified This is going to help the soup draw better. Imagine if you were to only cook the chopped okra, you won't get that. But um, if you combine the blended one with the chopped one, you will get the desired um, result. This chopper was able to give me the result I want. You can see even without it in the pot yet, it's already um, drawing. So now the first thing I need to do is to add some water in the pot and allow this to bring this to boil. Then add the crayfish. I'll also add the fish. That's the smoked mackerel. Like I said, if you don't have smoked mackerel, you can use any type of fish. I would also be adding the blended crayfish, the scotch bonnet and the locust beans. This is a really, really quick meal. Some people eat this alone. Some people also mix it with their pepper babes, pepper stew. You can even also take the flavor further by adding palm oil. But since um, I'm going to be mixing mine with the um, stew, I decided not to add palm oil at all. At this point, I'd already added the seasoning cubes and it has been boiling for the past two minutes. So now it's time for me to add the okra that's the one i chopped using the food processor you're going to allow this to cook for three minutes make sure that you don't cover up the pots because once you cover up the pots um the okra won't be drawing anymore it
I like to cook my okra on extremely low heat because it tends to change color if you cook it on extremely high heat. This is one tip I learned sometimes um, two years ago. Then now it's time for me to add the one I chopped earlier um, so that it can cook properly. But then again, I always like for this part to be very crunchy so I won't cook this for more than three minutes. The okra has been cooking now for the past three minutes and it's looking really really good already if you cook this more than 10 minutes it will change color and you might not like what you are seeing so make sure that you time your okra and make sure that you don't cook it for more than 10 minutes all together the aroma from this okra was already I'd already filled the kitchen and I couldn't just wait to serve the food. So like I said earlier, I mixed mine with pepper stew. I used um, ram meat to cook the stew and had it with eba. It was everything. I know we grew up knowing this recipe and knowing how our parents cooked it the plain way, but the many ingredients that I added to make this look um, much better and taste much better is a must try. Let me know if you'll be trying this in the comment section and let me know if you have any question. I'll be in the comment section answering all your questions thank you once again for always watching my videos and um, tell your friends to subscribe and make sure that if you haven't subscribed yet um, hit the subscribe button so you can get a first hand notification for every time I, I drop a video thank you for watching again see you in my next video